I think it's the 24th, I believe. Well, hello, hello, welcome. It's, you know, just on, you know, my name's David. Here to talk about some basketball yet again. Yet again, right? So, you know, hope you all staying safe in these uh, weird times. You know, it's it's just weird, right? You know, still locked down, still, you know, doing our thing. And in California, unbelievable. But, you know, w- one of the things I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, the whole quarantining, you know, eight-man requirement roster, things about the NBA, right? I mean, we're, we're just seeing that, you know, does the NBA really care or is it all for show, Right. Because at the end of the day, the NBA wants that almighty dollar to continue their revenue, you know, TV deals and all that stuff, NBA TV, you name it, right? I mean, just look at the Washington Wizards. I feel like, dude, aren't the Washington Wizards, like, they have not played a game in, like, two weeks or something? Like, like what's going on? Like, I feel like, did Beal get, like, Beal got COVID, right? Something like that. I don't know, but they didn't have the required, like, you know, limit of players to play while you see, you know, the Sixers, like, they're like, you know, screw it, you know, the Sixers, like, just play. And, you know, the Sixers lost that game, right? And, you know, you see Joel and B get super pissed at Adam Silver, which is grand. So, you know, Adam Silver does not like, you know, the whole, you know, Sam Hankey era when it came to tanking. And, you know, Sam Hankey at the end of the day was correct, right? Like, are we here to, you know, become a middle of the round, you know, semifinal exit, you know, first round exit team? Or are we here to, you know, go for the championship? And he got his two franchise players and Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. And Adam Silver kicked him out because he was a little too transparent with the fans. You know, that's why, you know, Sam Hickey's still a popular cult figure when it comes to the Sixers and whatnot, right? I mean, just just look at how they're dealing the Sixers, you know, punishments when it comes to the NBA. Like, didn't they just find, like, Simmons or, like, I don't know, like, uh, like 150K or something? I mean, when he was, like, out and about and he didn't tell his team. Something like that. I mean, it's, it's just going to be so hard to control all these players regardless. Like, for people expecting, like, oh, man, you know, you know, think of Cat's family and whatnot. You know, that's just one isolated, you know, situation, right? You think, like, all these NBA players care? Like, they don't care, right? And it's the same with the NBA. They don't care as much as you like them to, like them to be. I mean, this quarantine stuff. When it comes to making players play with eight players, like, it's just going to screw up the standings, like, even further. I think I touched upon that, like, last time. Like, it's going to screw up so bad, right? I mean, it's so random. Even then, even if you're playing, you know, like, NBA Fantasy, like, it is so random. Like, team, like, games just get postponed. Players sit out, you know, due to health protocols and whatnot. And then they had to do, like, a 10-day, you know, quarantine. And, like, it's like, uh, you know, like, like what's going on here, right? Like, it's just, like, you're still, like, putting out the team to play without their best player. And they, they have to sit out with the contact tracing and whatnot. That means ridiculous. Like, look at the, like, do you know, the, uh the rules that the NBA wants to establish to, as well, right? Like, you can't, you know, talk to or hug out your, you know, you know the, the opposing team's players after the game, right? It means, like, it's all optics, right? Like, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Like, you can, like, you know, post up on someone, you start sweating and start breathing heavily on them, like, their back, and whatnot, and all these, like, you know, touching, getting physical with players, like, that's cool, right? Because that's just part of the game, but, you know, if I talk to you, you know, face-to-face, and you shake your hand and whatnot, like, 
you know, that's, you know, no bueno, right? So that doesn't really stop, you know, the NBA players from doing it, you know, inside the locker room when they just talk to them afterwards, right? So this is, we all know it's all optics. Like, I don't know if, are the NBA ratings, like, down again? I got to check that up. I, I want to know because, like, no one's making a fuss about it as of yet. You know, I have a feeling that it is down again, like, because of the recent, because of the recency of, you know, the NBA Finals and, like, all those uh, opposing views, I should say. All those opposing views are like, you know, they don't have my viewership no more, so, you know, you know, screw them, basically, right? So, you know, I have a feeling that it might be down, so... And that should be, I should probably check that up next time. But I mean, just look at it, right? I mean, all of these postponements of, you know, players that had to sit out for, you know, a good chunk of days. So basically, they're missing like at least three or four games. I mean, Jason Tatum, like, what's happening with Jason Tatum right now? He's, uh, he, uh, he's out for like, for a bit. Um, I mean, just look at it, like, you know, standings is here, playoffs is going to be wonky, that's why I'm assuming, you know, that's why I'm silver, it's like, you know, we're going to do that play-in tournament again because of, because of the protocols we put in, so, you know, let's see, is it 8 to 10? Yeah, 8 to 10, something like that, where they're going to play for the A spot. It's going to be all funky this year. And, you know, you have to think to yourself, like, does NBA really care about, you know, health? Or they just care about, you know, getting their money and recovering their losses, right? Because all this, you know, wear masks and all that stuff. That's cool and all, but, you know, you're not really canceling the season if you really care about health, right? So a lot of these, you know, like, a lot of these people, you know, these players telling you, hey, you know, you know, wear a mask, you know, all this danger and all that stuff. Okay, right? You're still, you know, playing your, you know, your certain games, right? And that's not even including, you know, some of the players that like, oh, like saying that, oh, you know, like, you know, like George Hill and like Kelly Olynyk, like, oh, you know, I do what I want. I don't need no, I don't need these protocols. I just can't. You know, screw these protocols, basically. Right, so... Dude, I mean, just, like, all these, like... All these games where, the, you know, best players are not going to be in it. It's like, ugh. Like, like how are we going to really, really see if... Uh, if these teams are who they are, you know, near the playoff time, right? When their records are inflated, basically. So, you know, it's going to be a hectic season, you know, going forward.